All right, so I had this truck brought to me, and uh, he said he wanted his brakes changed, brakes and rotors put on the truck. On his way here, though, he had an issue pop up. He had the brakes, and it popped, and then all of a sudden he had no. So if you look, there's brake fluid all around the inside of the rim. On the ground, and all on, on everything. So, I'm gonna take it apart and let's see what's wrong. Okay, so I got the wheel off now. Uh, next step is gonna be to pull the brakes off. Uh, remove this, remove this, take the caliper off. And I'm pretty sure it's the caliper itself that has blowed. And uh, let's do that real quick. All right, so I got the caliper off and if you look, uh, the brake had gotten worn down so bad that there's no uh, There's no uh, brake pad left matter of fact. There's part of the caliper. It fell out on the ground where it ate it up and broke it off into pieces um, So it looks like we're going to be changing the caliper along with the brake pads and rotors Okay, so I got the caliper and the rotor removed uh, if you see right here there's part of the uh, old brake pad that is there and you can see where it came apart and ate up that caliper um, just a heads up it's 14 millimeters to take off the caliper and then to take off the caliper mount that's 21 millimeter um, chances are um, they're extremely tight these were extremely tight I had to use a breaker bar to get them off but uh, once you get them off then you know you can proceed with uh, changing your brakes but since I'm doing the caliper and the brakes I'll continue with the video and show you how to change the caliper and then then proceed on with bleeding out the brakes All right. <clears throat> so the kit I ended up getting for this vehicle for this truck uh, came off I don't remember if it came off of eBay or Amazon, but it was a cheap kit. It was like 200 bucks for drilled and slotted rotors and new brake pads. Well, when the caliper came apart, we had to go and get those immediately last night. We're going with the uh, Enduralast from uh, AutoZone. Um, and it's got new caliper mounting hardware and the bracket. Uh, but this kit, I like this kit because it labels each individual rotor where it goes. So... Like if you see this says front passenger side um, now I can install it and everything is where it needs to be you know for people that don't understand I like it because it's very informative to those who are just becoming mechanically inclined okay I got the new rotor put in place I'm going to take the caliper now and separate the caliper from the bracket and go ahead and mount the bracket on there I'm not going to hook any of the lines up yet. I'm going to wait and hook the lines up after it's in place. So I can just remove it from one caliper and put it on the next. So there's minimum air in there for when it comes to vacuuming it out. Uh, another thing, with there being brake fluid everywhere, I, I used some of the cheap bottles on brake cleaner and sprayed off all the parts inside of here to get the brake, you know, to get the brake fluid off of, uh, uh, the wheel hub assembly so that I can touch it and work on it without it getting so nasty and as a side note uh, this was on the uh, rotor previously uh, to make the hub center on this for the wheels he's got XD wheels on it to make it uh, hub centric again um, so I'm gonna just place that back on and you know it just slides right off it pops right off with the screwdriver and uh, you put it back on so the wheels are hub centric due to the hub bore size uh, because they're universal all right next uh, the kit came with uh, new clip on uh, slides for the brake pads uh, if you see I've installed all of them uh, on a side note I also wiped off the uh, rotor too because there's an oily film on it uh, from shipping to make sure that it don't that it doesn't rust in the time period between 
them making it and you buying it. Now you can see that I put a little bit of grease on the slides, the brake lube grease, and uh, to keep the brakes quiet and keep it sliding easily. But you don't want to put too much. Granted, I only put a thin layer, so that way, like with any grease, brakes like the brake area gets hot and grease will melt. You know, it'll liquefy. So you don't want liquid grease getting on your uh, rotor causing your brakes to you know not want to grip or slide or anything so uh, use it sparingly very minimal okay so now I slid the brake the brake pads on now they're both in place now I'm going to install the new caliper on it so now I got the new calipers installed um, these need to sit flat because if you see there's like a groove in here it'll slide on like that but if it's twisted it won't slide on not to mention not to mention when you uh, begin to tighten it down this will rotate generally and that allows it to lock against itself and still be able to slide back and forth as it compresses and the brake and the brake pads get smaller okay so now I'm going to install the new brake line um, if you notice the banjo boat um, right here is the new one and uh, if you notice see the hole there there is a see how that comes out as a pin to lock it in place there all right let me get this on here for better clarification let's get these brass washers on it or copper to keep from uh, it leaking like a gasket. Now if you see, that's how it goes together. And then put it on here. To start tightening it down. And you notice that the line is in that hole. Alright, now I just got to tighten it up. Also, on a side note, the uh, factory banjo boat that per right here was a 12 millimeter, and the new one from AutoZone was a 7 sixteenths. So, and don't crank it too hard because you'll end up stripping it out. I mean, it's a small aluminum or zinc boat I mean it's not a lot to it and it don't take a lot of pressure to hold it together okay so on the driver side front I did the exact same that I did on the passenger side everything identical uh, nothing different get to the rear I'm going to change the brake pads and rotors and the uh, difference is instead of 14 millimeters to hold on the uh, calipers these 13s in the back and instead of being 21s, these are uh, 18 millimeters. Okay, so if you look, I got the rear rotors off. And uh, you see this truck comes with uh, rear drum brakes for the parking brake. Um, seeing as though it don't get used very often, I just kind of sprayed it off and look. The, the brake shoes on it actually look pretty decent. You know, there's still pl plenty of life left. I do not see a point in changing them out. So I'm not going to change them. Um, I'm going to get the new drilled and slotted rotors and get them installed and uh, start installing the new brake, uh, the new brake pads. Right. I got the uh, caliper bracket in place, uh, the new rotor in place. And uh, since I'm not changing the uh, calipers, I'm going to use a caliper tool and press the caliper back in so there's room for the new brake pads. Alright, now if you look, I've replaced the slides, uh, threw some brake grease in there, and put in the new pads. Uh, it works easier if you pull out a little bit on this, so you can just get it to snap in there and it just slides into place. Um, so now you know the direction of how the uh, clips go for the brakes and putting the brakes in. Okay, so now I got all the brakes on and I'm using a midi vac from AutoZone to uh, pull vacuum pressure. And as you can see, I'm getting a lot, I mean, a lot of air coming out of the lines. 
Um, but it did have a caliper blow apart on the front and I did have to change both of them. So granted there should be a lot of air in there. But I'm gonna continue to vacuum all the uh, air out of all the lines until they're all clean. And then we'll be done with this job. Okay, so I finished the, as you can see, I went all the way around it. In the front, it's got drilled and slotted rotors, brand new calipers. And you come to the back here, drilled and slotted rotors, ceramic brakes, everything. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, now you know how to uh, do the brakes on this body style uh, Ford truck. The 2009 through uh, I think like 15 but um, if anybody has any questions or comments just comment below and uh, you know I'll be I'll be glad to answer it uh, overall this is a fairly easy job it I think the hardest part was that it took so long to bleed out um, but um, I started at the furthest break from the master cylinder. So I started with the right rear and then went to the left rear, uh, then the passenger front and then the driver front. And then went back and double checked and tried to re-bleed again, nothing but fluid. So, and I test drove it down the road. It's stopping really good now. And, uh, there you have it, you know. That's how you do the brakes and calipers on this truck.